Campbell. This hasn't happened since 2019, shaking things up. Geeky up on the top line with Zaka and Pasternak, Lindholm and McAvoy also split up on deep pairs. We've got to make sure Arm, Arm Dog knows which Geeky's playing in this yeah. game here. <laughs> That's right. We've got Morgan here tonight for the Boston Bruins, who, as Jen mentioned, coming in a little back down to earth, having lost four in a row, 0-2-2 oh, two two in their last four. Sabres coming in 32 points in their first 35 games of the year in our Atlantic Division matchup here tonight. It's Jordan Greenway across for Connor Clifton, the former Bruin, getting a chance to start against his old team, and he risks a shot on Jeremy Swayman in that tonight for Boston. Casey Middlestead hands it off for Benson. Benson had it knocked off his stick right to Greenway. They'll work it high. Dragging Owen Power takes a shot. Save made by a blocker of Swayman again. A couple of chances to go to the net for Buffalo here in their first shift of the hockey game. Set to the corner with McAvoy on him. Got double team there. Zaka trying oh. to spring Pasternak, and he got popped instead. Puck still kept in the zone by the Sabres. Just with a shot. Save made by Swayman. Three points behind the Rangers for the number one spot in the Eastern Conference. Mason Lorine. Stole that one away, hands off for Frederick. Frederick to the slot. Van Riemsdyk save, rebound, they score! It's Mason Lorai. And the first good chance for the night for Boston is in the back of the net. That's a high-end quality chance, that first one. And I can tell you, that is a brilliant save with the right pad by Levi. To the weak side defenseman who jumps into the play. After the pass to Frederick, keep your eye on number six. He's just barreling down. Oh, I've had that happen to me too many times. You don't see where the... He comes from here. He slides in behind everybody. So the first shot, a brilliant save. The rebound goes right on the tape as if it's a pass, and it's perfectly executed on the offensive side by Bond. This pass elevated over the stick of Skinner. Slap pass from Darlene for Skinner. Jeff Skinner, sharp angled shot off of Swayman and out of play. Off the face, up, up a little controls. Quinn across for Owen Power. And now Quinn. Got the forehand shot away and a save from Swayman. Loose puck out in the slot. Power can't reach it. That was probably the, one of the best chances they had on that power play. I, I talked to Quinn this oh, morning. Here's Marchand out of the box right on time. And he walks in and a save from Levi. Rebound. He pulled it free. Couldn't tuck it home. And then it's Marchand out of the box with a great scoring chance. But Devin Levi holds his ground and keeps this a 1-0 game. Well, now Jim Montgomery's team from the penalty kill to the power play. And it's Zaka. Looking things over, he's got Marchand and Geeky and Pasternak and McAvoy to work with. Geeky for McAvoy with a shot, and that got through in a blocker save. Pasternak, 20 goals on the season. Six of them have come on the power play, and the Bruins halfway through this advantage. DeBrusk leaves it for Marchand. Brad Marchand at the goal line for DeBrusk. Coyle parked in front, and he scores! Charlie Coyle off the setup from DeBrusk. It's a power play goal, and it's 2-0 Bruins. Oh, and there wasn't much room up high like that. Well, that is an excellent play from down low. In the entry in the zone, they made it look easy. Bump pass there. DeBrusk gets it down below the goal line. And look how quick this pass is. And you can see Darlene leaves some good ice right there for maybe some ba bad ice. And it leaves Coyle wide open for what? A split second. And that's all it takes right there. Oh, but Coyle is so ready for that one after that yet here in the first. Krebs, right side, Kyle Oposo has had a hot hand lately, but puts it right in the glove hand of Jeremy Swayman. Samuelson cross, Darlene, cuts the outside on Frederick Darlene with a shot, nothing there, covered up by Swayman with a battle at the side of the net as the whistle blows. Took it all the way to the Stanley Cup Final seconds here, puck held in. One-timer from Zaka, fought off by Levi just before the horn. There. So don't, he, don't open the slider before before you your destination. Yep. Oh. That's great. Luckily, they got out in time for our game here tonight. Team and building. Absolutely. Here's Paterka over and across for Darlene, who had to settle it down before shooting, and no problem for Jeremy Swain. Ginger as he goes to the bench. I think a little collision yeah. in the neutral zone. Hey, he's right beside me here. Yeah, it looked like right he was to my left. To wear it off as he. Went to the bench. And certainly keep an eye on Charlie McAvoy as Levi pops out of his crouch. He doesn't this play enough per game, so. <laughs> it's just his fourth game back. He missed four with an injury. As that shot from Olofsson. Lanced off of Swayman. And it's, a, it's a tough one. It's really tough. Well, and at first when it happens, you're scared. And then you go there and then you, 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 you know, you, you need your 
you need your medical staff to talk you through it. And then you kind of go, okay, feels all right. A punch dump behind the Buffalo net. Grabbed by Beecher. Handed off for Lauko from his knees. Back out for Carlo. And now Lindholm with a slot for Brown. Brown, Lauko, backhand kicked away by Levi. Yeah, you're right. That was a save by Levi just prior to that penalty being called. He made a good stop. Came out, challenged it. At his size, he has to be aggressive, but not overly aggressive. You don't want to leave it anything exposed. Got to be real smart at his size. Astronaut trying to feather it through for DeBrus breaking. Boyle in front, and he scores! He banked it in off the skate of Eric Johnson. The power play goal for Boston, the second tonight for Charlie Coyle. Quickly, efficiently, gain the zone. Look at him backing up and backing in and backing in. Not a lot of pressure on Pasternak, and he's able to get gain the zone. And then this one is obviously a fortunate break right there. Unfortunate for the veteran Eric Johnson, as you can well see that uh, right here, I, I, I mean, I think Coyle was clearly intending to pass that puck. And the timing and the touch. Can't give Pasternak that much room. No, dead to the zone. He blew by everybody. <laughs> Dan Heinen out for Walterspoon and a save made by Levi. You're going with the blue by everybody? Another wonderful staff provided by our resident staff man, Eric Gordon. Not just. There's a chance for Skinner and a save from Swayman, and, and he, he went to the net hard too. Yeah. Gives it back to him. Carlo. Lindholm, wrist shot, block. DeBrus turns and shoots, and a glove save made by Levi. Yeah, good save right there. Clifton to power and back again. Connor Clifton pressured by Pasternak. Clifton takes it into the corner. Next that pass through for Cousins. His shot blocker saves Swayman. It was oh. behind him, and McAvoy behind the goaltender batted it out of the air. That was on its way in. Second, it was almost the first goal of the night for the Buffalo Sabres. Watch McAvoy oh. take this one out of the air and basically out of the net for the Boston Bruins. Oh, what a play. Oscar not for Marche. Oscar not to Geeky. Marchand to McAvoy with a shot tip wide and then a diving play. It's in the net. They score. Morgan Geeky is going to get credit for this one. And it's the third power play goal of the night for the Boston Bruins. Moving how crisp it's on the tape and off the tape right there. One, two, three. I mean, just, just some superlative movement right there. And yes, oh boy. Levi thought he could scoop it out there. And, and uh, too many cameras as it goes off his left shoulder and right underneath from our AT&T 5G net cam. He's got to push all the way back to his left and it goes off his body and just curls over the line. Bruins and Sabres to start the third with Boston leading 4-0 here at Key Bank Center. Brendan Burke, Darren Pang, Jennifer Botra with you here. First game post-Christmas for the National Hockey League. Like those were some of the small aspects of the game they've been missing before the break. Eric Johnson scores! Lots of traffic in front of Jeremy Swayman and Eric Johnson has gotten the Sabres on the board here in the third period. Within 10, he grabs his puck after a good faceoff win there by Middlestad. And just a simple D-to-D -D play there. Power over to Johnson. And look what happens when you shoot the puck on a moving screen. And, yeah, nice and screen by Tuck. Yeah, it doesn't wait. He doesn't settle it down, bring it back into his feet, try to change the angle. Just shoot that thing. At this particular point, you're playing the clock. You're now down by three. Darlene, middle of the ice, wrist shot, rejected. Look out here, it's Marchand on a breakaway. Brad Marchand in clean. Saved by Levi. Oh, that last one went off the post on the outside. Mm -hmm. and... Move it along. Owen Powers pass, oh, stolen away. Saka for Pasternak. David Pasternak, saved by Levi. Awfully crowded in the playoff picture of the Eastern Conference, that's for sure. The Sabres team just struggling to put wins together. They haven't done very often. Cousins with a spinning shot save. Rebound oh! pushed just wide by Cousins. Got those pads nice and tight. Down. Look at him. He's got the crouch there. He's covering the short side. <laughs> or he's oh, he feels it. That's why. Oh, I thought he was. Oh, he's struggling now, yeah. I thought he was not doing the reverse VH on purpose. Here Boyle again, again oh, and Dolan made the save. Oh. Boyle will head off the ice. Right underneath the shin pad. Let's see. 
Oh, yeah, oh, inside of the right ankle. And the Boston Bruins will run out the clock here on the Buffalo Sabres. Boston snapping a four-game winless skid with a 4-1 win on the road in Buffalo.